Speed test of MTM versus uh, Ryobi. I think the Ryobi will win that one. The only problem is, look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's man. like one of those, uh, those look, water blaster those cover, jets. Uh, those hoverboards? Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're looking a little weird here, crouched down, but we're trying to beat the sun here this morning. Uh, I got a late start messing around with getting these, uh, these set up. Uh, but the guys from Veloci, also known as MTM USA, or we'll yeah. call you, mm -hmm. um, you guys are the U.S. importers yes. and the U.S. exclusive distribution for, for MTM. Yeah, So exactly. introduce yourself exactly. real quickly and then we'll get into the, into the gear. So I'm Rob, VP of sales at Velocity Performance Products. We are the North American exclusive importer of all the MTM Hydro products uh, that you know and love. And then we have Steven from our marketing group. Uh, Steven does a lot of our social media and YouTube outreach uh, and is in charge of all the videography. I just recognize. I uh, I check out like when he's talking. Like I start thinking about what I'm going to say next. This is what people yell at me all the time. Because I'm like, all right, so where are we going to go next? And I forget that uh, you know people are watching me on the camera. Yeah. So it's not that I'm not paying attention. I'm thinking about what I'm going to say next. So we have three different undercarriage cleaners. You know, I live in Florida. I don't off-road my Raptor. Uh, I don't off-road my cars. Uh, I stay on the on the pavement. I like pavement. I like clean. Uh, so undercarriage is something I haven't chased at all. Uh, so we have three different undercarriage, um, whatever you call cleaners, yeah, option, options available to us. It's a forty-dollar price point. It's very accessible. Of course, your big box retailers such as Home Depot carry this. Uh -huh. So a lot of people have seen this in stores or online. Uh, again, it's Ryobi, so they have that reach. Um, Is it, it comes out of the box like that with a quarter inch QD on it? Correct. It comes out of the box like, like this. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a nice little pivoting brass nozzle. Uh, you know, so you would need some sort of wand with, you would with need, this. Otherwise, you're going to be holding, I mean, because I guess you could connect it like this. <laughs> so that one's actually, it's a water room too, is what, that's, that's why right. you pivot in. So that's you right. clean that's your right. driveway, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's not the way to go. So yeah, so you would want to, you would want to attach some sort of wand, so it would probably make sense to buy an MTM wand for it, right? Yeah, so correct. So $40 part, simple, escape rollerblade wheels, some regular, it looks like some bushings. Yeah, I think the biggest challenge you're going to have with this is you're on probably what, a four inch wheelbase there? Yeah. At least. You got a low car, you're going to have so, control. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, That's not fitting it, under It works on the cars. Raptor, but if you're talking about, you know, WRX, you're barely going to clear it. Corvette. Yeah. Corvette, course, uh, I would think you're going to be hard pressed for that. Yeah. Got and it. so that leads us to one of the things we really wanted to focus on with ours was that clearance for, mm -hmm. the, for the car care market. And ours is only about two inches on each side. Of course, um, four nozzles is better than three. That's always that correct. So you get three nozzles with the Ryobi. Ours has four, so your what, pressures. What, what is uh, the angle of operation on these? Uh, we're at forty degree. Okay. Yep. So we have four forty degree nozzles on a stainless lance. These three components are what comes in the standard kit. So you get your brass swivel, your forty inch lance, and then your twenty inch sprayer component at the end. Okay. Um, and these are. Um, it comes with the, the MTM Quick Disconnects as well? Yes, exactly. It has a package. Yep. yep. And then the 40 inch wand, lance, whatever you want to call it. So this, this is separate or this comes as part of the package? This part in your hand there is sold separately. So the kit itself is just these three components. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to be honest, when I saw this, I'm like, what is this janky crap? But <laughs> yeah, this makes a lot of sense. Yeah, if you're on one side, you'll go driver to passenger or vice versa, no problem. Most but, people already have that, the gun and everything, and but you yes, just QT you, it and you're good. So you can get low and really get underneath. Yeah. And really go side to side. Because oh, the swivel, the swivel yeah. comes up 180 degrees here. Right. So you can come at me. You can literally go all the way. You can come all the way across, and you're end to end right now. Yeah, easily. I have room I just to got go. Sprayed this in the is face. a giant raptor. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're thinking a Corvette. You can. Do you know the uh, what size are these nozzles? Do you know? Uh, they are 4.0, 40 degree. 
4.0, okay. Yep. So if you wanted to, you could, if you wanted to increase pressure, you could you could buy different size nozzles yeah. and yep. go. Just smaller nozzle. Yeah. So the nice thing is you get four nozzles. And so if you're running, just for easy math, let's just say you're at a 2000 PSI machine. Uh -huh. It's gonna disperse that pressure amongst all four orifice sizes. Okay. So and we so would it's 500 so, a piece. Yeah. So for my, you know, for, for my thousand p or 1300 psi, you know, Krenzel, I'm gonna need more. Right. I'm gonna need smaller nozzles, I think, because I mean that the pressure. And it depends what you're cleaning yeah, too. Yeah. I mean, right? the raptor, like your raptor's oh, up. Oh yeah. Good point. Right. The core vent's gonna be lower. Yeah, because the pressure so, here. But yeah, as you can see, you can touch this. It's not gonna damage the car. You're you're cleaning underneath, and that's the point. Mm -hmm. um, so for your high end, your exotics that are much lower. I mean, you might want to just start with a stock hmm. item. That's mm -hmm. a good point, yeah. So it comes standard with four 4.0s. Yes. And then you can easily, they're just they are just taped. They're just right. Teflon taped on there so we could adjust it to whatever we need. Right. And so for the guys that don't have wash bays outside or can't go all the way around a vehicle, you know, there's different configurations you can come up with, which is part of the reason we didn't include a lance on the top side. Uh-huh. Because if you're, say you don't have the space to go side to side, good, good you have to point. go front to back. Yeah, you'd need a shorter, you may need right. a shorter. Um, I mean, I guess you could stay in tight. You could, absolutely. But then there's no reason to have this kind of length, especially if you're not, I mean, you and I are taller. I mean, I'm right. 6'2", you're at 6'4", so yeah. if you're, you know, if you're 5'10", five, 5'9", five, like. 5'8". This is going to be a little too tall. Yeah, not I mean. Quite not this is up to, yeah. right, this right. up to my chest here, so I'd probably, I feel comfortable right here. And Yeah, so you'd you know. probably want a 20 inch line. Yeah. Got it, yeah, so we can we can do different options. So then the other version is a Sutner. So this is Sutner's version. Any idea what this one costs? Uh, I think I paid about 330 for this right. one, 315. Okay. Yeah, so one thing we were having a problem with as I was assembling this, there's a there's a JIC fitting. It's like a compression fitting, or not a compression fitting, but a it's supposed to be a swivel fitting, but as you torque it down, the swivel stops swiveling. So it it kind of It's a little difficult to actually move yeah, around. You can't, well they don't you, expect you to, to rock it, right? And Yeah, so this this one you're just gonna be sliding around on the nylon. And and that's where I think it's a great industrial concept but they didn't quite hit the mark. And that's where I think really ours shines through is you have this bend and that's great for getting underneath the car, but God forbid you're not paying attention or you look away for a second and you're gonna smash. Yeah, you're gonna ding it. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. get it's your bumper or something. <laughs> yeah, that, there's no question, yeah. So to me, like, I don't know, I'm just too concerned that I, knowing me, I know me, uh, I would hit my vehicle with that, number one. Now we're getting the impression that this, these are probably, let's see what size are these? Yeah, 25 degree, 2.0. Yeah, so these are these are much smaller nozzles, so we're getting the impression that this is more powerful. Right. So you spread amongst three, you can still put your hand up to it, but uh, yeah, these so you're are on much these, smaller nozzles. these yeah. two hard ball wheels, which you're not gonna get any of the pivoting. Um, again, I think they intended for that swivel to pivot, but the problem is, as you said, the swivel comes undone. Yeah, I mean, I, I sat there and played with it for 20 minutes. This one, I'm gonna want to crouch down. It's always sketchy when you uh, bring your product to me because it may not go well for you, but I think you win this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's try Ryobi. So. And in normal Ryobi fashion, they don't tell us what the uh, what the nozzles are. So three nozzles, mm -hmm. quarter inch QD. We're using the MTM 40 inch. This is a 40 inch one, you said, right? Uh, that one I think is just a, uh, a 36. 36. Okay. Yep. I yeah. think we have to flip it. Oh yeah, you're on water brew mode right now. Yeah. This side up. Now that is so one perk to theirs is. You can flip it. You can yeah. flip it. It should just lock into place. Yeah, but that means I'm gonna have to do this. I think there's only, you know, the two locks. If I come up. Yeah, yeah so, so every this, time you move it, it's gonna. Yeah, this I'm gonna have to stay with my gun. Yeah, so out of the box, I mean, the this is something we may want to consider. You know, yours with four. Four 4.0 nozzles is with most 
electrics is not going to really work. We're going to have to mm, up the power. We're going to have to make use smaller nozzles. Change. These are probably sub 2.0 on this thing. That the pressure that we're getting. Yeah, it's good pressure. Right? But look, as soon as I come up, I'm just shooting straight, so I can't stand up. Right. I've got to come down. And then again, like you saw, you're like scooting it over, just like you were yeah. with that. Where ours on the third wheel, it's swiveling, yeah, it's there's, pivoting. Yeah, you win this one. Yeah, I don't want anything to do with that. You don't want to try the water broom option? Actually, I might want to do it right here. I dumped some polish there. I was wondering what that was. I have complete control. Same with this. You're just going to save so much you're making, time. You're making me feel like back. a freaking infomercial here. But yeah, and then <laughs> yeah, having the swivel, my hose stays under control. Yeah. <laughs> no got to change guns or anything like that. The only thing I have to worry about this is that I go past the car. Yeah, so you have to kind of... I kind of have to train myself where the edge was. All right, so now I'm starting to figure out, try to figure out how can I modify this. <laughs> Immediately, first thing he thinks of. Just stainless, stainless right here, stainless right there, right? Right. Safe to say the first mod he wants to do is take that sticker off. Yeah, you're freaking, well, does the crooked MTM sticker? Well, that's clearly, a, that's clearly a Rob sticker that there. Not a, a Metallica at, at Bob Sugar Edition, yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. As soon it's, as I saw it. The sticker's straight when you go like this. The cheese factor, I knew it. <laughs> let's try uh, Let's try the back. Yeah, you're going to want to set these up with 2.0s. We can do that. This is pretty cool. I didn't want to freaking do this. I'm like, you're like, you're like, let's do some undercares. I'm like, ah, I don't want to do that. I just want to shoot like, a video. I, yeah, I owe him. You always take care of me. So I'm like, all right, I'll appease him. But yeah. Well, I, I appreciate it. Thank you. I think. Do uh, huh? you have the keys to the vet? I can just pull it out. Yeah, I think, more hose. I think testing them underneath something like that is. Don't say vet. Yeah. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to mess Threaten up my, my walls, start pulling stuff off. Gentle. <laughs> I forgot how big those tires are, I couldn't get past them. I mean, you can almost get all the way to the front by just, if you really push it. So you're at the mirror right now on the driver's side. Yeah. You're halfway that's, down that's the That's about bottom. the limit. Yeah. And the wheel starts dragging. I'm stuck on the giant tires. I like this thing. So I think it would be safe. I'd want to run a test on current draw, but I think it'd be safe on like a Krenza or an AR uh, or, a, or a Comet or, you know, any kind of electric, certainly any inexpensive electric, you're going to want to run, you know, 2.0. So I think you'd be safe even on the bigger electrics to run 2.0 nozzles and even on a, on a low car because I, I would feel comfortable. There's no paint, right. so I'd, I'd yeah. feel comfortable with, you know, even if it was here. 1500 PSI, I think I'd be fine with that. Yeah. This thing is smooth. Let's do a speed test, Bryce. Speed test. <laughs> speed test of MTM versus uh, Ryobi. I think the Ryobi will win that one. Well, the Ryobi's got rollerblade wheels on I it. I might have I'd to hope concede that one. Hey, look, America, I'm built for comfort, not speed. So, you know, what can I say? The only problem is, look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's man. like one of those uh those look, water those, blaster those cover, jets uh, those hoverboards yeah speed test, speed test. this is get definitely it. faster let's see again i've got to i gotta get down on you the ground way yeah is that gonna fit well think about front bumper the front lip's lower right yeah oh yeah your front is way lower i don't think it's gonna fit at all it's flat to the ground <clears throat> Yeah, so it fits in the back. You gotta find a strategic spot. So Ooh, it does. Just barely. It hits here. Does it hit the front? So that's been my argument the whole time. The Ryobi is just too big. Depends on where you're at, but yeah. I mean, even where you're at, you're gonna have to get right on the ground to be able to push it underneath there. Ryobi. For 40 bucks, 
it's not bad. I'd rather have the Ryobi over it. The Sutner is kind of... It's awkward. Yeah, it's just big and bulky, and I, I think that, again, this you would use in some sort of professional environment, but even then, I think I'd rather have have the swiveling capability here on the wheel. I don't really care that this is brass. I think it's fine. Um, so I don't, I don't know that I'd even care to worry about modifying that. I mean, again, this is something that I think most people are going to use you're not going to use it much in the summer, you know, you're going to use it in the winter mostly. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. something that you're going to use, you know. Coming off winter. I, I like the idea of having a quick disconnect so I can break it down and put it away. I can take yep. these big lances or uh, wands and, and go put them, you know, I can go put them somewhere. So I like that idea. So I can take this, this thing, put it in a closet or lean it up against the yeah. side of my cabinet and hide it away. Mm -hmm. And then the swivel comes off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this comes off too. Oh, yep. sweet. Yeah. I didn't think about that. I just like how it's, I mean, you can go quick to rinse it real quick, then swap everything, do wheels, go from there. I, I mean, you're, you're adding, too what, 20 seconds needs. maximum to your wash time of your car? Just push it up. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. You're still bad. cutting that part out? <laughs> Leave that part in. <laughs> like, this, this fitting's junk. Yeah, it's wrong stuck. Way. It's already busted. You let me sit there and do it. You're like, uh... Yeah, I mean, now the guys are standing here, but you know, Rob knows that it doesn't matter if he's standing here or not. I'm going to tell him straight. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of interesting to try some of the different options. You know, the Ryobi's a little goofy. I mean, I would hate to have to, like, lay on the ground in order to use this thing. But, you know, for 40 bucks, it would certainly work. Uh, it's just you have to get, get the gun, you know, close to the ground. You're still going to need to buy a wand. Uh, so, you know, you're still going to be a hundred bucks or so. You still need a, a gun and everything. So you'd have to have, I don't, you don't think you'd want to put this on the gun and be really crawling under the car or the truck. So, and the, the wheels are a little big for most of us who have uh, really low cars. The Corvette isn't even lowered yet. So when I'm an inch, inch or inch and a half lower, you know, it's certainly not going to work. The Sutner, forget, man, that one's not really a, a viable option. So I think... I think the MTM, you know, now the only thing I, I'm wondering is we might play with nozzles. Um, it does feel a little light in pressure with my, you know, smaller electric pressure washer. So you know, imagine you're using, if you're using like a Sun Joe or something like that, it, you're going to have a hard time. Four nozzles dissipates the pressure quite a bit. So uh, we'll work on that. Uh, but I'll, I'll put links to everything. Uh, where where this is, you get it get it from MTM. I don't have it in my store. Uh, we may do something like this at some point, um, but you know for now, I think you know we get an MTM Hydro for pricing. I, I usually don't mention pricing in videos because pricing changes over time. And then again, I think you're gonna want, I think you're gonna want a. I'm six two, so I like the idea, and I have room to wash. So I think thirty six is the way to go. You know, it comes with a thirty six for the for the base, you know, for the, the actual base section, and then the the swivel, the swivel, the swivel wheel. But um, you know, you can use your twenty inch wand. I, I don't think a bent wand is going to do very well. Uh, so if you have a bent, like a Mosmatic or the MTM bent wand, a 20 degree angled wand, I think you're going to want a separate wand for this. So you really, as part of the package, you're going to want the you know, the, the undercarriage cleaner, and then you'll want the uh, some sort of longer, separate straight wand for this application. And it's not bad to have a straight wand laying around, so that way you, you know, in case you're cleaning the patio or something like that, you'd have it. So anyway, those are a uh, real, real brief um, uh, video on undercarriage cleaners. I'll probably play with this stuff some more. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you, if you see it in my store at some point, um, then I would have um, I would have uh, vetted all the individual connections, uh, but for now you're you're on your own to kind of figure out how to how to best set it up. I think um, I think you'd be fine just buying it out of the box and uh, using it with most most electric pressure washers. So anyway, thanks for watching this. Thanks to the guys coming all the way from Minnesota to come hang out in the Florida heat, and. Uh, I'll have uh, probably some more undercarriage stuff uh, as we as we go along here. This is my first first go at it. Thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. Catch you on the next one.